I'm just going to do a little uh, rundown of my uh, newest FPV project. It's a uh, Team Basement RC 60 inch blunt nose. So for the power I'm running a 4 cell and I got two 2650s right now. I also have a, uh, a 3000 4 cell so I'm going to pick another one of those up and uh, so I'll have a couple sets of batteries. Servals are, I forget exactly what they are, they're from Hobby King as well, but they're uh, pretty strong. Metal gear. So I just cut them Gorilla glued in and put uh, some tape to make it nice and flush over, over it and let the foam, uh, let the glue, it foamed up quite a bit. Uh, so up front here, I'm still going to have to make some skids because I just want to uh, add some kind of bumper to, to protect the camera. So I have to cut some out of Coroplast, and that's about it. So the FPV, it's just a uh, 5.8 200mW, pretty simple, uh, with the clover leaf and the uh, skewer panel wheel. Just uh, not planning to do any long range or anything, but I right to, to mess around with it and get used to it. Uh, for the clevises and that, I went over to the hobby store and just picked up some... Uh, uh, I think the Dobro Quick Connects. I really like them. You snap in and uh, got a, uh, a little stopper out there and it just clicks in. If you can see it here. Sorry about that. It just went out of the way. But yeah, it's uh, you just click it and then it pops open. So it's like a retainer and it just clicks in. That's pretty cool. I just finished putting the Elevons on. Or not the elevon, sorry, the wingtips, and uh, so the glue is still kind of setting there. I just used the CA and Gorilla glue. I just put the CA on the coroplast and put the Gorilla glue on the foam, and uh, no water because I don't really want it to foam up that much. It's foaming just a little bit, just from the humidity. So yeah, that's a, a super bond there. If you put two of those together. I've been doing it now for quite a while on certain things and uh, it just Gorilla Glue is strong as is but with CA instead of water it's freaking awesome so we'll just come in here I got pretty much a bird's nest but I just made a uh, I just had to do one of these up I didn't have one just a parallel charging board with uh, the 4 mil bullet connectors it's a plush 80 amp you see, so I just fed the wires <coughs> in through there and uh, running a uh, 5 amp back and receiver is just uh, an AR6200 I just fed the wire out for the satellite I need to put one of them on a vertical plane, I'm probably going to do the RX because uh, the antennas on the bottom are on a horizontal plane and these are on, on the satellites on a um, horizontal plane so I'm probably just gonna turn the receiver over on its side yeah and the magnets and the hatch or whatever I just cut it out of coroplast and stuck it straight down made a made a hinge there cut a flute out and the interior wall that I made uh, I just I didn't put it I didn't put the the front one on I was going to but then it kind of Come on, it gives you a less of a less of a bay there, but it's glued in pretty good. So, and I just ran two pieces of music wire through the last flute, and Gorilla glued in a couple strong rare earth magnets. So it comes down here. We can get the wires down. It snaps in pretty good. And I just used my finger. I was going to put a little tab of tape there to grab hold of, but. There's enough gap there, I can just stick my finger in and get it. Wires for the VTX, I came here like this, and I can take this battery out right quick. <coughs> I just uh, made a channel alongside the battery bay, just up alongside here. I just ran it in, inside the battery bay and then made another little hole in through there. So doesn't come out the main uh, one just comes out to that side like that that's just the power of the VTX and the wires and stuff 
so that's about it now uh, the motor I'll give you a run down that's a 35 36 1400 kV and I got a 94 prop on right now I might try uh, I might try a 10 10 inch prop when I'm making an order for the battery I pick up a couple of 10 inch props and uh, let's see how they are so that's about it the bottom I uh, I just just plain black I got some decals from uh, TBRC so I'm gonna <coughs> stick them on that and that's about it the hinges the, uh, the elevons are uh, just packing tape hinges they, they're, they're strong I had them on my other one on my other wing they're not going anywhere then I just ran the, the covering iron over and after and uh, sealed the packing tape I covered the hinges with the just clear packing tape because I ran out of laminate so uh, what I did I sprayed uh, sprayed some uh, lacquer on, on the wood to seal it first and let it dry and let it tack up and uh, taped them and then ran the, the covering iron over just to seal in all the edges nice and it, it worked pretty good first time trying it with the iron over the packing tape and using the lacquer on the, on the wood as a, as a sealer so that's the build so far all I need to do now is as I was saying is put those skids I gotta cut them out and what I used was the uh, that's the shape of the wing because the uh, it came in uh, came in its square block of foam half the wing so I just traced I'm gonna trace that out I tried it last night but I'm gonna do another one and that's the contour of the front of the wing so I just gotta try to get it to the extend out past just as a little buffer because more than likely if you nose in you're gonna hit that it's a good chance that you're gonna smash your GoPro so anyways that's the wing so far it's pretty much 99 percent complete Uh, when we come to the batteries, 4 cell. I got two 2650s in parallel right now. I got a 3 cell. Uh, or I mean, I got a 3000 4 cell. So I'm going to get another one of those. And so I have a couple sets of batteries Metal Gear, Metal Gear Servals. Uh, I didn't bother to cover the, uh, the Elevons, so I just covered them with 